Near the old spring of the village, there is a cave with an opening covered with dirt, which has been the place of life of the first humans since the dawn of history. The villagers call it the giant's house, which can be considered to be aligned with the migration of Aryans to the Iranian plateau. Because after entering the plateau of Iran, the Aryans encountered tall and stout people whom they called giants or demons. This issue was so influential that the people of northern Piracoya, based on ancient legends, always warned their children that they should never enter this cave. Do not approach, because there is a demon's house. According to what is mentioned in Gurkhoi books, the name Sian comes from the first part of the name of Seamorg. It is believed that one of the springs and landing places of Seamorg was Cheshme Shah Sian, hence the name of this village which is located next to this spring was called Sian. According to the writings of the Parisian ancient master, Venus shrines in ancient Iran were mostly related to the places where there was a permanent, deep and spontaneous spring. Therefore, Cheshme Shah Cheshme Sian can also be considered as one of Nahid's shrines. The people of Gerkoy used to gather at the place of Shah Cheshme Sian on the 66th day of the beginning of spring, according to their old beliefs. The author remembers the water pool where the large crowd who were bound to swim in it to observe the ancient Abrisgan festival or Shasatvashi ritual at the Sian spring. But the demon of drought hit this bubbling spring like a roaring river. To the extent that the ancient ritual of the 60-year-old Garkuya, which is a sign of the authenticity, history and ancient culture of this country has been forgotten. Solving this problem requires a lot of effort from the village and city officials to once again plan this ancient ritual. Free from the danger of forgetting, the passage of the Silk Road through the ancient land of Garkuya has not left the village of Sian useless. A few kilometers from the historical citadel of Sian, there are caves that the residents consider to be the resting place of caravans, the caves that are placed next to each other and show the greatness of this route. The souvenir of this village is salt obtained from its salt mine. There are evidences of that mine to this day. Like a tombstone of the people of Kashkai tribe, that the villagers say that the Bakhtiari and Kashkai people used to trade firewood for salt in this village. The most important historical relic of the village is its three-story citadel. This citadel is similar to what is written in the book Birkoya, an unknown land on the edge of the desert, and belongs to the Seljuk era, where people lived there until a few decades ago. The guard is 50 meters from the castle. Unfortunately, this extraordinary castle is not in good condition these days, and is in serious danger and needs quick and effective restoration and protection measures. This castle is located in the north of the village and was probably the first building that gave rise to the old Sian. At the beginning, the people of Sian lived there because it had better security in terms of theft. A moat was dug around the fort to prevent the possible entry of invaders. At the top of the entrance door, to prevent the door from being crushed or set on fire, there is a way to pour water or extinguishing agents on the attackers or the entrance door. There are towers built in the four corners of the castle, which can easily be seen around the castle or shoot at any target. This building had four floors, two of which can be seen now. 
About 28 years ago, the last people left the castle and settled around it. Thank you. 